a great color on me, isn't it? I guess. Well, is it or isn't it? No, it makes you look like a corpse. Is that specific enough for you? I got a great idea. Let's get a facial. I can't. Michael's meeting ends in an hour and then we leave for the airport. Oh, he'll look. Isn't this divine? It's very sweet. I can't wait to have a baby. Are you doing it soon? Absolutely. Having children is the most important thing. I'd be incomplete without them. I know what you mean. You do? <laughs> sure I do. Why wouldn't I? Just didn't think someone like you would want children. So obsessed with your career and all. I'm not obsessed. And just because I work a full-time job doesn't mean someone like me doesn't want kids. Wanting them and caring for them properly are two different things. Having children is a full-time job. For some people. Yes, for those who take their responsibilities seriously. Don't just have kids to gratify their overwaning egos. What the hell is going on here? Do you keep your voice down? No, I won't. I want to know what's eating you. You've been a total bitch ever since you arrived to New York. I say the same thing about you. I've simply been reacting to you. For God's sake, Cece, don't you get it? We have nothing in common anymore. It happens to the best of friends and it happened to us. We've grown apart. It's time to accept it. You're wrong. We haven't grown apart. You've fallen apart. I don't think I want to pursue this anymore, Cece. So long. Oh, no, you don't, you stuck-up little witch. You're not getting off that easy. When your father died, he took the best of you with him. You tried being interesting for a while, but you couldn't handle the heat. At the first sign of trouble, you caved in, reverted back to type. You're nothing but a tight-ass, small-minded little snob these days. And what would a pretentious little climber like you know about that? Experience. And I know what's eating you, too. Plain old-fashioned jealousy. Jealousy? Of what? Your raw ambition? Your new money? Your marriage of convenience? My what? Every time John looks at me, you come apart at the seams. What's the matter? Afraid he doesn't love you? Afraid you got him by default? Maybe I am. But at least I belong to myself. Which is more than I can say for you. I'm doing what I want to do, remember? Free at last? Free at last? I'm living the life you wanted to live but didn't have the courage for. So don't tell me you're not jealous. You're so jealous, you can hardly breathe.